This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio Monday morning. There's a song by which we, we will play today by Fleetwood Mac, which I enjoy playing on Mondays. Monday morning sure feels fine. That's a bunch of crap. Monday morning. It's more, you know, mamas and papas got it right. Monday, Monday, oh, how I hate that day. I don't know. You know what? I think you got to be a little bit of sadomasochist to love Mondays. Uh, I just don't like them. Uh, Let me see. Over the weekend, it was very eventful. I hope uh, it was eventful in your life. I hope you did not go to the casino and waste money. Because it's a sucker's bet. You know, when you think about it, it is kind of uh, bizarre, is it not, that everyone knows that if you go to the casino, you're going to lose money. I mean, that's it's just the odds are against you. You are going to lose. And people go. <laughs> and what do they go for? They go for the action. The action. I might be, let me tell you something. I understand the regional economic benefits for tourism relative to having a casino. I really do. I I can understand that. But let me tell you, folks, all a casino does is suck money out of people's wallets that could be used for other things that are much better and more permanent for the economy, like a lawnmower. You know, you go down there and you lose $1,000, you know, you're upper middle class kind of person. You just think $1,000, all the things you could have done with that $1,000 besides lose it at the casino. And another thing that it's going to do, how in the hell does the banks and how the hell does the other places compete Against a casino. It's just going to be sucking money from one place to the other. And I read where they're expecting or they're needing to people that work downtown to make it a regular stop a couple times a week to stop there on the way home for a half an hour to an hour or so. And I'm thinking to myself, really? All those people that work at Procter & Gamble and Kroger's and all these other places downtown? They got to get home to take their kids to a soccer game. They're going to be stopping down there. And then you got the parking. I mean, what do you think, Garrett? What's your what's your young opinion? Love the casino being down there. No, I think it's works. I think it's good for the economy. I think it'll just draw more people downtown to spend everywhere. You might well, go down for a night, well, have dinner at the banks, and then head up to the casino that's, or something. That's the theory, but I predict otherwise. Now, I want to predict this. Out of the gate, blockbusters. You watch, but it'll die down once the pizzazz is over. I'm just I'm just anti-gambling. Sorry. Just damn. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's always. Anti-gambling. You're always throwing your money away. I mean, I think about all the th- Every time I lost money, I'm thinking, gosh, dang it, I wish I didn't gamble that kind of money. Uh, the sequester happened on uh, Friday. It act like it's a big deal. $85 billion in cuts. You know what? We are $1.2 trillion in the debt in the red each freaking year. Just think, if they said that was that devastating, well, how the hell devastating is it going to be then if we have to do 10 times that? We do. We need to do over 10 times what happened on Friday to balance our budget? It's crazy. Uh, also, the biggest news uh, personally over the weekend was my brother Seth, one year younger than me that has cerebral palsy who works on the farm, threw a couple hay bales down the hatch, so to speak, the floor hole in the loft, and then decided to follow the hay bales down. And... He must have bounced off a bale. He hit his head. He was taken to University of Cincinnati. He had some bleeding between the brain and the skull, but he's uh, apparently going to be okay. And, you know, he's, he's conscious and all that. But uh, scary. 
thinking to myself, my sister sends me a text, Celia sends me a text, says, uh, Seth fell out of loft. He's at UC, head injury. And I'm just thinking, my God, it's Splat City. I mean, God darn. Fortunately, he had thrown, and also fortunately, he was discovered right away by um, my nephew, Logan, my brother Thad's uh, son, who works over on a farm. He discovered him because he was working there at the time, so he wasn't uh, on the ground, so to speak, too long. So I went over there, just like a lot of the family members, and waited, waited, waited for him to get a private room, but then I... Uh, I couldn't wait any longer, so I didn't see him. I mean, it was, like, it was like taking forever. And the reason why I had to go is I had, to, had a meeting lined up with my son and um, my godfather so and Chuck Holbrook. It was like a succession meeting. We have to keep quiet, you know, what went on in that meeting for the succession of Bulldog Mafia. But anyway. Congratulations on your Bearcats. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. It's about time they got on a winning track. You're not kidding, man. You got to get hot at the right time. And My Wildcats looked god-awful. Yeah, I mean, god-awful against Arkansas. Tough loss for the old Wildcats. Yeah. They're NIT bound. We got Louisville tonight. We need to get a big win there. And the uh, Holmes Bulldogs, Pastor Dan's Bulldogs, beat Cooper in overtime on Friday or Saturday afternoon. And then last night, beat Covington Catholic by two. Go Bulldogs! Is that for the state title? or No, that's for the regional. They get to go to state. Uh, the super sophomore that he's been bragging about apparently made a three-pointer with seconds left in the Cooper game. They were down, So he apparently saved the day. Uh, he said it was like five feet out from the arch. It was probably just one foot, but Pastor Dan's going to brag a little bit. Let him brag a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, American Jury, we come back. Uh, we'll cover it all today, as always. And we're going to ease you into it. Ease you into it this morning, as we like to ease you into it. This is Gordon Lightfoot and Sundown on Class X Radio. This is the Boondog from Class X Radio. I got some great stories to tell. Great fun. Let's just have some fun, shall we? I say we shall. In St. Louis, Missouri, the word Hoosier is used as a slang term for what the rest of the country would describe as white trash, rednecks, or hillbillies. Uh, in Arkansas, where my Granny Crippen staple came from, they I forget the word that they used uh, for it, but it was also for hillbilly. Schnookums or something? I don't know. In the United States, this just this just proves you how this proves how big pot is, marijuana is in this country. All right, the potheads are taking over. In the United States, more frisbee discs are sold each year than baseballs, basketballs, and footballs combined. Let me read that again. In the United States, more frisbee discs are sold each year than baseballs, basketballs, and footballs combined. Becoming a pothead nation. Uh, it is illegal in Georgia to use profanity in the presence of a corpse. So you come across somebody who's dead, don't want to hear you cussing. Uh, here's an animal fact, which I know our zoologist doesn't know. Large kangaroos, that's going to be your animal for today. Large kangaroos cover more than how many feet each jump? They can go more than how many feet each jump? 12, 30. Oh, that's bull. Uh, it's not. You're full of it, William. Justin Bieber had a birthday, but his entourage were asked to leave a London club when his handlers got into argument with club security, and he tweeted, where's birthday? Justin Bieber, Jack Wagon. Jeez, old Pete. Here's a new survey of people between the ages of 18 and 34 revealed that 30% of them would rather give up their car than a smartphone or laptop. You know what? I think I'd give up my car before I gave up my phone. I don't know what I'd do if I had my phone. You know, a car, I'd get somebody to drive me somewhere. Magic Johnson's offering $1 million to the winner of the 2013 Sprite Slam Dunk Contest if LeBron James enters it. 
Mm-hmm. How about Tony Parker? Miss a month to an ankle sprain. Mm. A month. Spurs are a good team, but they're old. Did you see the Chicago Blackhawks shootout, baby? Yeah, I saw the uh, last wow, few minutes wow, of it. Wow, wow, wow. How about the Heat? The Heat knock off the Knicks. The Thunder beat the Clippers. Yeah, I watched a little about that, bit of that game. LeBron with uh, 12 points in the fourth quarter. Here's your score from Saturday night. The Ohio- Heat are hot. Ohio 78, Bowling Green 65. Cincinnati 61, Connecticut 56. Massachusetts 77, Xavier 72. UK and Xavier are the only local freaking teams that won't, lost. <clears throat> Arkansas right. 73, Kentucky 60. NKU 66, Jacksonville 62. Indiana 73, Iowa 60. This is it. One more week of the regular season. One more week. Conference tournaments start next Tuesday. Uh, how about this? You know, you think you live in a nice place. The infant mortality rate in Kentucky is 6.1 deaths per 1,000 births. In Kentucky, uh, let me see, Kenton County's 12.2. Campbell County's 11. Point. A Kentucky baby is more likely to die in the first year than one born in Cuba. Jeez. Why? I don't know. Way to go, Kentucky Hosp- Northern Kentucky Hospitals. Hmm, who's the only Northern Kentucky Hospital? St. Elizabeth. Bad Come hospital. on. I Come on, Sainies. Never trust Save our hospital babies. in Kentucky. Rose no, Gilbert, Kentucky. the widow of a wealthy developer who kept working out of her love for children, has retired from the L.A. Unified School District after 63 years Oof. as a teacher. She now volunteers in a health clinic and domestic violence shelter. Guess her age. 90 freaking four. Wow. Good for her. Good for her, man. Wow. It's a long time. It's a long, 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 long time. In ancient Egypt, priests plucked every hair from their bodies, including their eyebrows and eyelashes. Now the priests only uh, attack young little boys when yeah. they're not looking. I was a little bad joke. Sorry. Sorry, Catholics. I'm just... Who's that guy that just resigned from... Uh... I don't know where the hell he's from. Some some big cardinal that I think was in the running for the Pope race. Dropping out for sexual misconduct. No Pope for you. Here we go, baby. No Pope for you. You know what happens? Those Popes and those Cardinals, they start thinking about this. And they start saying, God, I got some dirt on him. I'm going to release it. Yeah. And they, just like politicians. They're political. They're political. So they start releasing dirt. I know Timothy Dolan. Timothy Dolan's got something bad in his. We're going to release it. We're going to take him out. And, of course, the, the, the big play card is that if they know they're a pedophile. They play the pedophile card. In the Middle Ages, young men and women drew names from a bowl to see who their valentines would be. That's one way William could get a valentine. Yeah. Uh, they would wear their names. Just teasing. As long as it's completely random and the person has no idea what you look like, William. They would wear these names on their sleeves for one week. To wear your heart on your sleeve now means it is easy for other people to know how you're feeling. How cool is that? We now know when you say you wear heart your heart on your sleeve... Now. Because Jack Wagons used to do that many years ago. Yeah, Jack Wagons? In ancient Rome, it was considered a sign of leadership to be born with a hooked nose. Check out my nose. Oh, yeah. There you go, baby. That's an ugly little schnoz there. You're kidding. Uh, in ancient Rome, now this is, this is pretty messed up now. If you killed your father, this is how you were executed. You were put in a sack with a rooster, a viper, and a dog. And drowned with all three animals. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Oh, God. <laughs> the viper would be hey, the one. Hey, now, here's something funny. It is believed that the Greek poet, I mean, not, not that the, 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 he died's funny. Oshlis was killed when a bird flying overhead dropped the tortoise and struck him. Birds have been known to carry shellfish to great heights and drop them in order to crack the shells. Never heard of a freaking person getting hit with a turtle. Hmm. In Arizona, it is illegal to take... Listen to this, Shannon. Sabrina. In Arizona, it is illegal to take naked photographs before noon on Sunday. Hmm. And just in case, you know, she hit Shannon poster, very tasteful bikini, but you never know. They get carried away, these models. Yep. They start posing naked. 
Before noon on Sunday. You better not before noon on Sunday, baby. Uh, Bonnie Franklin, we missed this because it was after our show on Friday. One day at a time star, died from complications with pancreatic cancer at 69. She was awesome. She was a good gal. Cancer sucks. How about Lindsay Lohan? You know, first she's got troubles. Oh, now the judge publicly, she's got some lawyer named Mark Heller from New York. The judge called him incompetent. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I wouldn't let him argue his motion. Well, I heard uh, Sheen came out and said, uh, yes, I am Lindsay Lohan's mentor. I'm not going to name the name. I'm not going to name the name. But uh, I'm ashamed to say it. <sighs> A member of my staff was arrested this weekend. What? Yes. Let I'm me guess. Let's do guess. No, no, Come no, on. no, no. Let me guess. Sarah I'm Jones. not going to embarrass them, but a member of my staff arrested, and the story they tell, this is so hilarious, the story they tell, first off, they probably should not have been arrested, <laughs> and what happened to them at the jail was not good. There was a jail employee who kept telling this person they were going to rape them before they got out of jail. And then they were in a room that with a stopped up overflowing toilet and it was everywhere and there was people in there sick. I mean, they said you couldn't make it up. They said it was so horrendous and so hellish that you wouldn't you know imagine it. I mean, I just jeez. So Sarah Jones gets locked up in the pokey. You know, you really it wasn't Sarah Jones. <laughs> if there's one person I gotta say it wasn't, it was Sarah Jones. You know, Robbie Sanders would be running down to their jail to <laughs> probation. Yep. That was me. I, I got, got a good rest song this list, weekend. by the way. There's your song list. Oh, sweet. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I, haha, a Fort Mitchell man, 23-year-old Aaron Jones, along with 42-year-old Todd McIntyre of Gent and 32-year-old Wilma Jones of Carrollton, are wanted for a Saturday robbery at the Bank of New Liberty. And they're asking to call, I hate to say this, but I'm not going to call the police on some bank robbers that got away. If nobody got hurt and they got away, I'm like, high five. Yep. Good for you. Nobody your got security. Hurt. Nobody got hurt. It's kind of like, hey, you know, they needed the money. <laughs> Guess right. what? On the way here, Gary, by the way, you got a fan. I was with a client on uh, oh, Saturday, and they said they love you. Really? I tried to talk them out of it. but yeah, well, uh, that's, that's a good person. They know their stuff. <laughs> Who was it? Some hot chick? Oh, yeah. Smoke. Smoking hot. I mean, smoking hot. It's generally what I attract. Yeah. So. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, here's an oldie, but a goodie. Dave Clark 5, catch us if you can. On Class X Radio. Here they come. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio, ladies and gentlemen of the American jury. By the way, my Simon Kitten Pioneers playing in the 8th region semifinal Friday night fell. The South Oldham 72-70. And I just want to just say this. I'm very confident. I'm very confident that uh, the boys played great. I'm sorry for the parents. But I'm sure Trent Steiner did something to blow the game. They had a 13-point lead and blew it. Yeah, good old Trent. And by the way, Trent's worst nightmare is about to take place because uh, Cheryl Winkler, who knows all about the concession stand money is going public. <laughs> and I didn't know this. I actually didn't know this. They have taken the concession stand money at Simon Kenton away from Jeff Marksbury, the athletic director, and the bat. Now, why would you do Why would you take all that away? And you know what? They never said anything to me. My contact at the administration never got back to me, and I'm not happy. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to shove it underneath the rug. No public controversy. Too bad, I know. Uh, The Bengals designated defensive end Michael Johnson as their franchise player. 
Hmm. Hey, while we got everybody in the room, uh, by the way, Garrett uh, at the break decided that we need a Frisch's run. I'm gaining weight snappy. working with this son of Jake, a Jake, snappy run. Yeah, snappy run. But I got to ask you guys this. Uh, got any special ideas to elect the Pope? Uh, somebody had texted me saying that they ought to have, a, like, a, each cardinal have their own Pope mobile. It's just kind of like the restrictor plates in NASCAR. You give them a certain set of rules, and then they have a race around St. Peter's Square, and the winner would become Pope. That'd be fair, wouldn't it? I think they ought to line them all up on a, on a lake and see which one can walk on water. That's not you a bad find idea. A real, it's not a bad got idea. Real wizardry magic. Or, or have a preaching contest. Who delivers the best sermon? That's right, though. The Pope can do magic, right? Or they could just have a, a magician. How about this? They could do like uh, Val Kilmer, uh, Doc Holliday suggested to uh, Ike Clanton and uh, have a spelling contest. What is that now? The 12 hands in a row holiday? Son of a bitch, nobody's that lucky. 12 hands? 12 hands. Why, Ike? Whatever do you mean? I love this. Ike. Take it easy, boys. Whatever did you mean? Maybe poker's just not your game, Ike. Polka's not your game. I know. <laughs> Let's have a spelling contest. <laughs> I love that line. Let's have a spelling contest. By the way, I didn't, aren't we supposed to have a spelling contest? We could ask your ass. Yeah, we could ask the uh, Cardinals who ha who like knows their catechism the best, like have a trivia. Who wants to be a millionaire kind of format? Tournament? That, trivia. Trivia. Yeah, yeah. Trivia yeah. format. Sports trivia. I think uh, I'll give them the sports name questions. Name the patron saint of music. Uh, please give us uh, the full analysis of the travels of Apostle Paul. You know, things like that. And we could, you know, I mean, what don't we want the, or, you know, maybe have a fundraising contest. Who can raise the most money? How about Baltimore Ravens, Joe Flacco being the highest paid player in the NFL? There's nothing like cashing in on a win, baby. Yeah. Good for him. Cash I don't know if he's worth it. He's not worth it. He's definitely not the top uh, quarterback in the league. I don't even know if he's in the top five, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, be honest with me. I don't want you to lie to me. <sighs> well, yeah. why would I lie, right? Abraham Lincoln is the quote of the day. Let me read it with reverence. Adhere to your purpose, and you will soon feel as well as you ever did. On the contrary, if you falter and give up, you will lose the power of keeping any resolution and will regret it all your life. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Abe. By the way, in 1789, the Constitution of the United States of America went into effect today. 1861, Lincoln was inaugurated as the 16th president. Uh, Happy Birthday to You was published by Clayton Sonny in 1924. You know, that's the most sung song in the world. Happy birthday to you. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, the Queen's in the hospital here. Mm. Oh, this is the day in 1966 where John Lennon screwed up really bad and said the Beatles are more popular than Jesus. Mm. When I am like, I go from a Z-list celebrity to an A-list, I'm going to say I am more popular than John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Frazier TKO'd Buster Mathis in 1968. Who cares? Uh, dun, 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 dun. In 1997, President Clinton did this. I banned federally funded human cloning research. I kind of regret it because I kind of like to clone myself. That way I could be with Hillary and, and Monica at the same time. <laughs> if you know what I mean, Bulldog. And when I was in England, I experimented with marijuana a time or two, but I and I didn't help. like it. And you didn't, didn't like it. And never tried it again. You know, I inhaled uh, frequently. That was, uh, that, was, that was the point. You know what? I want to tell you something. Bill Clinton did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> the cigar did. Uh, today's famous birthdays. Bobby Christina Brown is 20. She's weird. Uh, God, the terrible birthdays. Landon Donovan, soccer player, 31. Chaz, I don't know if I want to be a man or a woman. Bono, 44. Governor Rick Perry, who cannot name... More than one department of the United States, 63. In the state of Texas, if you come into our state 
and you kill one of our children, you kill a police officer, you are involved with another You're crime and you kill one of our citizens, you will face the ultimate justice in the state of Texas. And you don't want to And that is you will be executed. A, uh, it says, will you ask Jane to get me a coffee if he goes to Snappy, please? Shannon has called you Jane. He called me Jane. Jane. Called now, you Jane. Shannon, we don't have we any Janes at work here. Now. Jeez, old Pete. No coffee for Shannon. Mm-mm. Oh, my goodness. Now people are making confessions by text message saying how they could have been arrested once, caught totally naked. Oh, my God. I, did I, Jeez, I didn't mean man. to text that to you. My goodness gracious. Ugh. Today's mostly sunny, but guess what? Tuesday, rain high of 39, and Wednesday, snow showers mixed. <laughs> Lizards can self-amputate their tails for protection. It grows back after a few months. Jake? True. He's All just right. saying that because it's in there, and it's just going to cover him. Landfair, look at that. That actual name right there is apparently an actual name of a town in Wales. We, I think we've Nobody got the pronunciation here. Really? That's messed up. Let's get that one more. Jesus. Stupid. Hey, ladies, I got a news flash for you, and it's going to shock you. I'm okay. single. Yep. No, this is going to really shock you, all right? Hang on to your uh, ears. Males, on the average, think about sex every seven seconds. <laughs> no way. Always knew I was hey, above hey, average. Hey, 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 I want to tell you something. You're above average. I want to tell you something. Okay, I would admit it. You know, come on. I'm a male. Yep, we think about sex a lot, but... Every seven seconds? I don't believe that. It's a lot of time. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury, this song came out when I was like 15. I remember listening to it. I was a senior at Latin school. And I just stumbled upon it. And I said, hey, this is a new, this is a song nobody's heard for a while. Nick Gilder, One Hit Wonder, Hot Child in the City. Every seven seconds. Oh, I'm thinking about it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. Class X Radio. It's the Bulldog on Class X Radio. Woo! <clears throat> how long do you, how often do you think women think about sex? Males do it every seven seconds. Every two seconds. Yeah, you two wish. Or three. Lloyd's a London. This with me. Lloyd's a London. Uh, Began as Edward Lloyd's Coffee House. I knew it was a coffee house. Male horse flies can fly 90 miles per hour. Wow. Well, we do get a lot of animal facts uh, now that we've started the segment with Jake. Yep. Did you watch the Bible last night? I did. It wasn't very good at all. I turned it off. Nope. I turned it off, man. Just said, I've had enough of this. I'm done. Did not uh, see, you know, it just did not inspire me. First off, they started off with Abraham. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's Adam and Eve and the apple and everything, yeah. you know? I wanted to see if they had a hot Eve or not. But no, 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 they just skipped straight to Abraham. Abraham almost killed Isaac. That was terrible. That was a bad, bad day. Marilyn Monroe used to cut down the heel on one of her shoes to achieve her butt-wiggling walk in films. There you go, ladies. You want to wiggle your butt like Marilyn Monroe, you cut down one of your heels. There you go. Yep. That's done. Uh, Let me see. Massachusetts law declares that peanuts may not be eaten in court. I've never seen anybody eat peanuts in court anywhere. Just want you to know. Mexico City is sinking a rate of six to eight inches a year because it's built on top of an underground reservoir. Oh, my goodness. What if it just sinks? But that sinkhole, man. You see that? Yeah. 60 feet. Hillary Clinton, George Bush, Obama, a boy, and a monk were stuck on a plane, and they were falling fast. There were only four parachutes. Hillary said... I'm a woman. You can't leave a woman on a plane to die. So she took one and jumped. 
Obama said, I'm the smartest guy in the world. Now he said it like this. I'm the smartest guy in the world. Everyone needs me. He took one and jumped. Bush blabbed something in Spanish that no one understood. And he took one and jumped. <laughs> <laughs> the monk told the boy, you take the last parachute, let me die. The boy said, why? We can both jump. How's that, said the monk. The boy replied, because the so-called smartest man in the world just jumped out with my backpack. <laughs> That's right. Uh, oh, my goodness. I think I grabbed a backpack. I can see Bush doing that, though. <laughs> that dumb look on his face. Yeah. <laughs> Way Will Ferrell imitates him. Yeah. <laughs> He is good. Will, you know what? Will Ferrell does George Bush better than George Bush. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you jump out of a plane? You no. Done that? No, my fraternity brother, Thomas Moore, did it one time. The little sisters and the frat boys did it. And I wish I would have done it then, but I don't want to. I have no desire now. They, they said it was a wild, wild feeling, man. Man, the movies, you know, we didn't even go to a movie this weekend because I kind of looked it over and said, eh, I don't want to. Although 21 and over looks funny. Heidi Klum has signed on to be the fourth judge in the new season of America's Got Talent. You go, Heidi. Uh, let me see. Dana Delaney was on a, apparently an airplane flight that uh, had to be diverted with electrical smell. Mm. How about this? Latoya Jackson has signed the three little Jackson kids. Looking for a reality show. Yep. Mm hmm. SNL spoofed Obama's sequester announcement with the YMCA skit. It was funny. We got uh, that. You wanna, you yeah, know. I went to sleep after it. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, hello. As you probably know, uh, last night I signed an executive order authorizing $85 billion in federal budget cuts. Now, most Americans still don't understand. Uh, what this whole sequester really means. I could explain in financial terms or in human terms. But since I really have no idea about how money works or budgets work, <laughs> I'll go with human, ter human terms instead. Uh, you see, we're all going to feel the pain from these cuts, uh, even in the White House. From now on, my wife Michelle will only do uh, four television appearances a week. <laughs> Down from a usual 75. <laughs> I also had to sit Joe Biden down and tell him that you know, he couldn't order another fat head poster for his bedroom wall. <laughs> but tonight, uh, Michelle's I want to show you some of the everyday men the and women the these cuts are going to affect. People like our air traffic controllers and our border patrol agents. Okay, how will your department handle the budget cuts? Well, uh, before we can look at our radar screens, we have to watch a 20 funny. second ad for Doritos. <laughs> and we no longer have full body scanners at the security line, so we are asking everyone to take a photo down the front of their pants and just text that to us. And, uh, and Border Patrol? We're going to have to let uh, every 10th Mexican uh, just run across the border. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, not a hater. He was funny. <laughs> he was funny. The cuts also affect every our space program. Mexican. And astronauts like Major Lindsay Fulton. Uh, thanks to the budget cuts, our space helmets will no longer have glass. <laughs> so when we go outside to repair the ship, we'll just have to hold our breath. <laughs> Thank you, Major. Now, I'll see you in space. <laughs> These cuts will also affect our national zoo here in D.C. Isn't that right, Zookeeper Jenkins? Uh, that is right. Yeah, no, it's getting, it's, you know, it's tough for me to say this, but we're going to have to fire three of our monkeys. Um, <laughs> we're just going to let them loose in the city, you know? <laughs> They'll be homeless, out in the streets, just tossing poop and ripping off faces. <laughs> so, on the uh, plus side, Ikea and Taco Bell have made a very generous offer to buy some of our horses, so that's a relief. <laughs> Plus, there'll be cutbacks on meat inspections. You know what? You know what? Okay. We're, we're going to skip that one. Okay, let's just skip that one for now. Thanks, guys. Okay. okay. Pretty good. Hater's the best one on us. Yeah, <laughs> hater. Every 10th Mexican just <laughs> run, right, run right across the border. Run across. And then for the, for the Saturday Night Live, for Spoof on the Pope, they, they selected that nine-year-old Oscar nominee, 
Uh, yes, that's the Pope. We got a little, uh, you want a little bit of that? Yeah, we'll put a little bit of that. Put we'll a little bit of that. Well, put, sir, and this is a, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> This week, with the Catholic Church mired in scandal, the conclave of cardinals have gathered to select the new Pope. Aaron Carbonell is standing by at the Vatican. What can you tell us, Aaron? Wolf, there's speculation that the front runner is Cardinal Peter Turkson from Ghana. If selected, he would be the first African pope, which some say would signal a new, more progressive Catholic church. Well, whoever they choose, he'll need to be a dynamic, fresh face capable of moving this church past these scandals into the 21st century. Uh, Wolf, I need to interrupt you. There is white smoke rising from the Sistine Chapel, <laughs> meaning that a new pope has been selected. And you here know. come the cardinals. You know. And from the looks of it, the new pope is not Turkson. The new pope is nine-year-old Oscar nominee, Pavenjane <laughs> Wallace. Wow. <laughs> wow. She's wow, wow, wow. I, I don't think anyone saw this one coming. Pavenjane Wallace, of course, the first African-American, the first female, and first <laughs> child pope. <laughs> and, and what is the new pope Hat doing? trick. Uh, pope Pavenjane is lifting her arm into her signature muscle man pose. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, it's time to shift gears. We're getting closer to 7 o'clock, so you should be awake. When we come back. I'm going to tell you about Charlie Sheen and Lindsay Lohan. Hmm. Till then, this is Trooper, 1979, Raise a Little Hell, the official song of Bulldog Nation on Class X Radio. Com. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio, ladies and gentlemen of the American jury. It is now time for your first traffic report for today. In Cincinnati, there is a disabled vehicle blocking the left shoulder on 75 southbound and slow traffic from Ronald Reagan Highway to exit 10. All righty. 20-year-old Antoine Newell was arrested for leaving his five-month-old and two-year-old alone while he went outside his home to make a drug deal Saturday. He'll be arraigned for child endangering today. Hey, 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 kids, kids, just wait right here. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, independent mayor candidate Jim Burns, who will run against Cranley and Qualls, gave away 50 pounds of free baked potatoes and went in wood Sunday. He said they were $9 a bag, and he couldn't pass up the deal, adding that he plans to do it again. Well, you know what? You just keep giving away baked potatoes, and you might win, Jim. Buying votes with potatoes. You can get votes cheap these days. Ashley Franklin was shot around 9 p.m. Saturday in West Market Road. She was shot after getting into a property dispute with 60-year-old Sandra Little. A little advice, don't get in a property dispute with Sandra Little. She will shoot you in the back. Just saying. That's what will happen to you. Uh, the Horseshoe Casino, we've already mentioned this early in the show, is going to open to the public tonight at 8.30. Parking garage opens tomorrow morning. Are you going, Shannon? So actually, Shannon and I are going together to a little VIP event down there. They invited us to to check out sort of the grand opening. So... Back there, you play blackjack? good, good, place, loaded on their dime. Place yeah. a bet for me, <laughs> blackjack player, BJ player. What about you? Yes, I'll be at the table all night. Cincinnati police currently able to tap into 118 public cameras, but they're wanting to tap into a thousand by the end of 2014. They want to watch you. Look, here comes somebody. They're watching. We're watching you. <gasps> He's peeing in public. Should we arrest him? No, let's wait. So he does something really bad. Governor John Kasich. That's not even worth talking about. Mm. Ah. Larry Forgy, my good buddy on Ashley Judd, possibly running against McConnell. Mitch McConnell's not afraid of her because she's not just not politically positioned in this state philosophically to beat him. And that's coming from a guy who doesn't really care for old Mitch. You know, but that's the truth. You think she'd have a chance if she ran? Uh, no. Me neither. Man, it, you, I'm telling you. I don't know, though. You think these hillbillies are going to be a celebrity that want, you know, politics you know, wants to be their leader? Politics is a whole different game, man. It's hard for a celebrity to win. Too much dirt. 
Just too much dirt. They'll be pu- pulling out all her movies where she showed boobies. <laughs> They'll come back to haunt her. Those strict Baptist homes down through Kentucky. Ashley Judge showed her boobies. I'm not going to vote for her. Our family is not going to vote for Ashley Judge. She showed her boobies. She likes UK. She needs to that should be her platform. She's a Mitch UK Mc, fan. And, and Mitch McConnell be going around the state saying, I didn't show my boobies. Play to win the game. She'll, she'll hire uh, or McConnell hire Seth McFarlane to sing a song like the Oscar. Yeah. We've seen your boobs. <laughs> I like Ashley Judd. But she didn't got a prayer. Late. What did UK do this weekend? Speaking of Ashley Judd and the Wildcats, what did they? They won. No, they beat Arkansas. They, they beat did Arkansas. win. <laughs> I think they lost Arkansas by like twenty, wasn't it? Snappy is here. Snappy is here. I'll change the subject on me. <laughs> UC won, by the way. Oh, this is what they you win. mentioned before. You Britain's won. former highest-ranking Catholic leader, Cardinal Keith O'Brien, Keith apologized Moon. yesterday after admitting he engaged in sexual misconduct. And promise to stay out of the church's public life. Well, thank you, Keith O'Brien. Keith O'Brien w- went to town and committed devious deeds. I wonder what he did. I don't know. I just had sex, right? Probably, That's probably, no, no. Probably was with a woman. He was probably taking a confession from a woman, found out she was a nymphomaniac, and took advantage of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably what happened. Don't blame him <laughs> one bit done the same thing pope go get them i mean you've had a woman confess to you about being a nymph <laughs> and then took advantage of it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we hit the 12th pew and got it on <laughs> that's sacrilegious that is horrible sacrilegious. i'm going Back her down. straight to hell bray veteran ed bray 89 who stormed the beaches in normandy and received two purple hearts uh completed his toughest goal last week with the help and training from a professor at Northwestern State University, he read a book for the first time. It was a grade school bio of George Washington. Good job, Ed Bray, baby. That's sad, man. Nice work, Ed. You know, learn how to read. When are you going to learn? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Mm, police dog fires gun in the Massachusetts home. <laughs> What? A specially trained dog was searching for a weapon buried in a snowbank when police police believe the dog's paw hit a trigger, firing the weapon toward a house. No one was injured. Put the dog on trial for murder. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Where were you the night of so-and-so? Woof, woof. That's not what I asked you. (laughs) Woof, woof. Have you ever seen the YouTube video of that cop? Woof, woof. (laughs) <laughs> of that what? cop giving the uh, training lesson at like a school of mm-hmm. gun safety, and then he shoots himself. Oh my god! The YouTube <laughs> clip. It's the funniest thing. It's so he like limps around. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so funny. Jeez, old Pete. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he's in the middle of talking about how you like protect yourself from guns. I'm gonna look and, that up. I mean, that's a good one. Yeah, look that up. Cop shoots himself. Well, the Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan said white people are afraid of becoming the minority in the U.S., concluding that they've introduced birth control to black women because they don't want to have more black babies. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Farrakhan, I know I'm a minority now, and I'm just good with it. I'm a rebel. So being a minority, hey, where's my potatoes? You can get them, pal. Jeez. You want some of mine? <laughs> a little soggy there. There's this guy shooting himself in the leg. <laughs> Watch this video here. This is funny. Right. All you people out there, are you watching? Who's? Where's this video coming from? It's just some school. This oh. guy's giving like a, he's like a dare officer giving oh. like a lesson on guns, and he's thank about to pop him God. one in the leg. Thank God he didn't shoot anybody else, man. <laughs> he like walks. So <laughs> how long? Calls is for back. How long does it? <laughs> he does. Uh, yeah, it's so how, how far into it does he shoot himself? I don't know how long is the video? It's Two minutes and 50 seconds. Somewhere in there. Watch it at the break. (laughs) Vice President Joe Biden regrets his absence from civil rights. Did he do it? Did he just do it? (laughs) Oh, my God. There's all those people around, man. He shot himself in the foot. 
Oh my God, he's limping around. <laughs> Oh my God! He's got like his like patch there. I think thank, he like. Thank God he didn't shoot anybody. What a jack wow. wagon! <laughs> that was forever ago. Oh, that's the same guy that Chuck got his concealed can carry class. From. <laughs> yeah. <that's>... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, American jury, wake up! It's Fleetwood Mac on Class X Radio. Monday morning, you show the fight. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Shot myself in the foot. Imagine explaining that to your boss. Oh my that god, was that was embarrassing. Boy, the, the crowd didn't get all very ex- no. excited today. <laughs> he didn't it's react like, at my all. My gosh, man! I think Shannon. Uh, they didn't hit the nail on the head. What? You know, inner city those kids are used to. Um, they're used to the bullets flying. Yeah. Shannon, what's going on, in traffic? In Hamilton, there is an injury accident on Martin Luther King Drive at Reading Road, an accident on Linwood Avenue at Observatory Avenue, and an accident on Madison Road south of Mark Bell Avenue. Mark Bell Avenue. Well, well, well. Uh, The administration in the White House is now backing off claims that the sequester would bring an immediate disruption to Americans. You know, one minute he's trying to scare the hell out of everybody now he's saying the opposite it's kind of crazy i don't know if anybody saw the interview of ann romney and Mitt romney was painful to watch painful to watch although i did think about the idea of whether or not or just how much better the country would be right now if romney would have won they would have passed some tax codes and our tax breaks and everything else and it would have been totally different right off the bat the economy would be moving. Uh, Ann Romney said, I think anytime you're running for office, you always think you, that you're being portrayed unfairly. Well, obviously the media wasn't on their side. But he slams Obama over the sequester of politics, says, why don't you stop campaigning? You know, that's all he does is campaign. It's ridiculous. Got all these problems in this country, and he's out campaigning, worried about the 2014 elections. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Senator McConnell on the sequester cuts calls it modest. We have a $16 trillion national debt. Our debt is as big as our economy. That alone makes us like a Western European country. Mm, 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 mm. Meanwhile, Obama is going to nominate a new budget director. Walmart Foundation, Sylvia Burwell. That's very nice. Very good. That'll make all the difference in the world, Barack Nominating that person. Yep. You know, I was thinking about all of the cuts and budget cuts and waste and everything. And, you know, it is incredible the amount of waste in this country due to regulations, Medicare fraud, Medicaid fraud. Everybody knows the games. I mean, how many people do you know? I mean, I know people like this. They say, well, we're not married. We're living together because that way I get X and X benefits. I mean, they do. I mean, everybody knows the game. Everybody knows the con. Uh, Now, I I announced this last week where somebody had sent me. It was called a uh, U.S. Postal Service employee. And this this client of ours had a settlement, and he We were supposed to send $1,800 or something like that, which we did. By the way, we sent the government their $1,800. Now, listen to this. Attorney Dieters, I am still waiting to receive the completed EN-1108 form from you. Folks, that's EN-1108 form from you. It's like freaking six or seven pages, and it's like reading Greek. Also, if court costs were involved, I will need an itemized list of these costs. Please submit the E and 1108 and the other documents as applicable as soon as possible so I can finalize the third-party claim. Thank you. Now, folks, I've already sent the government their check. This was my response to that email. You're not going to get it. (laughs) (laughs) Their response, uh, by way of this message, I'm copying the USPS headquarters HRM analyst Donna Muccia. Form EN-108 long form statement of recovery is required by the U.S. Department of Labor. Office of Workers' Comp Programs to be completed by you. As Jason Broyles attorney and submitted along with payment of the government lien to them. My response, 
you're not going to get it. <laughs> I mean, why the hell should I fill out some government freaking required form that has got nothing to do with Jack? I refuse. You watch. Hey, wh- what are they going to do? They can't do anything to me for not filling out one of their damn forms. I've already got my money. The client's already got his money. If they don't want their freaking money, they can send it back. Way to stand your ground. Stand my ground. I bet you nobody's ever told him that. Oh, he sent it. Oh, I'm, I, I copied your email to Donna Muccio. Oh, Donna Muccio, what you got? Is it me an email? She got to come out and beat me up? <laughs> no, Donna, let's come beat me up. I ain't going to fill out your EN 101108. I ain't going to fill that out. <laughs> EN 11108. Freaking government, man. It sucks. And there's people like Obama that wants more freaking government. Good golly. How can anyone think more government on any level is a good thing? Who thinks like that? Well, yeah, we need some more government. Hey, you know what we need here right here, Harold? We need some more regulation. I tell you right now, Bobby, I think you're right. We need some more taxes. We need some more taxes right now to make this country better. We need to make things more difficult to get done. You know, things are just too easy around here. We need to make it more difficult for all of us to be able to do what we want to do. We need more laws, more regulation, more taxes. Then the country will get rolling again. Who the freak hell thinks that? And that's exactly what your friends in Washington want. <laughs> I do a pretty good hillbilly, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pull that off real well. That's my Harlan County blood coming through. Jeez, old Pete. I'll get this. Banks wrongfully foreclosed on military homes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Apparently, they foreclosed on 700 homes wrongfully. Oops. Hey, we're sorry, but, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, Sergeant, uh, uh, we uh, screwed up here. We didn't mean to take your house. <laughs> Good God. Once again, the freaking government. <laughs> I love it. E N one one zero eight Jack wagon that damn thing up. E N one 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 zero eight. Yeah, Jack wagon. E N one 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 zero eight. Yeah, Jack wagon. <laughs> you know what I need? Horrible form. You know what I need? I need some freaking flogging mollies. Rebels of the Sacred Heart. That's a that's the kind of mood I'm in. You know what? The flogging mollies don't want more regulation. Hey, this song is for Barack Obama and all the goddamn Democrats in Washington. You can kiss. White, Shut black, up, brown, bus on Class X Radio. It's the Bulldog on Class X Radio. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the American jury, if you're driving in, I assume you might need a traffic report, so we'll let our show be interrupted by Shannon to give you the traffic. In Hamilton County, there is an injury accident on Martin Luther King Drive at Reading Road, an accident on Lidwood Avenue at Observatory Avenue, and in Cincinnati, an accident on Madison Road. Uh, I saw for the first time before I went to bed at like 8.30 Friday night, Duck Dynasty. And all I can say is stupid. Oh, really? <laughs> and, and what's funny about it is it's all choreographed. I mean, it's uh, there's yeah. no reality to it. I mean, you know what they've done? They've made reality TV, not reality TV. Yeah. I mean, and if, if you've got to make... Your life, like you got to choreograph stuff, then it's obviously not good reality television. You can put a camera on me and my gang during the course of the day. Holy cow. Okay, I mean, Friday, for example, an incredible day. Uh, let me see, what happened Friday? First and foremost, I was busier than hell, uh, meeting after meeting. I had a, uh interesting story to tell about Indiana. You remember that judge didn't uh, grant my motion pro hack viche? Well, 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 well. I wrote him a letter, um, which I'm going to publish. And then on Friday, Michelle Jackson, uh, wrote uh, on her own, filed a motion to recuse the guy. And then late in the afternoon, the judge calls Jim Moore, my partner who's licensed in Indiana, and says he's going to recuse himself because... He just found out from the ethics committee 
uh, or somebody's like that, somebody, he's on the corrections board, some corrections board. He's a board of trustee. And he said he just found out that it would be a conflict. He had called them to check whether it be a conflict for him to hear the case. And they just called him back, and it was a conflict. So he was going to continue the trial and take himself off the case. Now, from day one of this case, I mean from day one, he knew that she was a, a person that was involved in the corrections. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it's incredible. So the judge that refused to grant my motion pro act vice, which I don't even think I need. I got to talk to Jim. I have been admitted temporarily in the state of Indiana. I got a license. So I don't know. I don't even know why I needed a pro act vice, to be honest with you. And then I go off to court. This is hilarious. Phil Tolliver who has been the leader of the band uh, the last two or three years. He's, I don't know, he's post-70 years old. And I don't know, he, he, he's one of these guys that used to love the media and getting, getting press and everything else. So this was really, really funny. I'm down there on these, this group of uh, Covington residents that got a really good claim against the Covington Police Department for hell, having the Covington Police Department crash their party for no reason at all than beat the hell out of them. And every time he opened his mouth, he must have spoke 10 times during this hearing, all he would do was bash me. It was hilarious. And Judge Bunning, to his credit, ignored it or Phil didn't even realize it. I think he was kind of making fun of it. I mean, he went, it was hilarious. And um, I cannot wait to clean his clock. This is awesome. I get to beat Rob Sanders and Phil Taliaferro. See, he calls himself Phil Tolliver, but the way it's spelled is Taliaferro. So I make a point to say Taliaferro in depositions and what. What did your lawyer, Mr. Taliaferro? <laughs> I mean, this guy, this guy is like lost his grip. I mean, he's not, I'm telling you, <laughs> incredible. And then, and then, uh, the underboss... It's like freaking having a stroke or something. So Chuck has to head off to the hospital, a university hospital, where they refuse to give him a CAT scan despite all these, this thing that he's feeling in his freaking neck. And I said, you demand a CAT scan. I still don't even know if Chuck's got a CAT scan. So the under, underboss might drop dead at any freaking time, which would throw my freaking life in turmoil. No underboss, no Chuck going out and meeting with people. And then... Uh, Seth falls out of loft. We have a sit down with, with my God. I mean, if there was a camera on me on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it was it would be a freaking hoot. And and you would need no oh. Uh Chuck and I met with a former Reds baseball player on a legal matter on Saturday morning. Oh, who was it? Was, I ain't gonna tell you. Come on. It was a trip. It was a trip. And I I mean, I'm I'm not kidding you. I, I keep telling these television people, I said You all don't get it. We don't need any scripts. Just put the camera and watch it happen. Is it Reggie Sanders? I'm not going to tell you. (laughs) Attorney client privilege. I can't speak about it unless they give me permission. Paul O'Neill. But but I'm not kidding you. Friday, Saturday, I'm if you had a camera on me for one week, 24-7, you'd have a whole season of episodes and just like that. When I get filthy rich. I, just for just for entertainment, I'll put a freaking video camera and just do it twenty four seven and and run it live on the internet. You watch people tune in. Hey, you, you can just tune in anytime and see what the hell's crazy stuff going on in Bulldogs. You need a GoPro. I'll turn, one of those, I'll turn it off under certain other. Certain one of those cameras you just strap on your head. Just walk around all the <laughs> camera on your head. There was more that happened. What else happened? There was Phil Taliaferro, my winning the Indiana thing. Um. Can't have Chuck going that down. Seth, What's Chuck's Chuck? Deal? Chuck, Chuck almost dying on me. I've got uh, Seth falling it. out. Seth falling out. I might move into the number two two hole. <laughs> yeah, <here. laughs> you're gonna get promoted. Be big. Yeah, but the legend of the bulldog continues as Dearborn County. Uh, I will be representing that woman, Michelle Jackson, in Dearborn County, hell or high water. And. Um, how, how cool is it? How many lawyers do you know that the prosecutors fear so much they oppose 
my entry into a case. Is this the Pro Hoc Vice thing? Uh huh. They scary. They fear. I only know dog. one lawyer though, so they fear the dog. Well, we, okay, name Eric? one lawyer. Eric Dieters. There you go. There you <laughs> go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> God, there was more. I'm, I'm going to remember some of this stuff. Oh, oh, oh. The Simon Kenton scandal, which we broke right oh, here. Oh, that's right. Cheryl Winkler is willing to go public, and she's going public. She's giving her, you know, she's going to be available to talk to the media if they want to. But this is a scandal, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, we need law enforcement, and we need the uh, uh, media. Well, I'll Just tell you what. In the questions, because I'm telling you right now, she would count out the cash. Yeah. And Steiner didn't know she was counting out the cash. I'll tell you how we solve this problem. You want to know how? How? You Simon Kenton High School, as you and I go down there, we burn the place to the ground. <laughs> Jeez, old Pete. God, we just it. completely <laughs> burn like ta- the whole thing. N- nothing like taking a chainsaw to a little problem. Not if anybody's <laughs> in there. Maybe a couple janitors. They don't matter. No. And we'll just throw some bottles that are flaming. It's not the school building's <laughs> fault. It's All the personnel. All cocktails. We just burn the place. And and get this. There are, you wouldn't believe. I think they're ready to be number two. You wouldn't believe some of this I stuff. I have great I, ideas. I used, to, I used to give money to the basketball camps and whatnot. Apparently, and I don't want to get this wrong, with basketball camp or somebody, but the rumor is the coaches use that to fund a freaking Vegas trip. Jeez. I mean, so just think if that camera was on. We would be... This is entertaining stuff all through the weekend. Well, maybe Vegas is where the big the big basketball camps are that they yeah, need to uh, <laughs> learn the, the, the next ladies, great offense. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, we now have a time for another great song. It's my favorite Counting Crow song. It's the theme from Shrek 2, I think. It's Accidentally in Love. It's the way I fell in love with MZ. Accidentally in Love. No, it was. It was Love at First Sight. On Class X Radio. It's the Bulldog on Class X Radio. How about a traffic report there, uh, Miss Shannon? In Hamilton County, there is an injury accident on Martin Luther King Drive at Reading Road. In Cincinnati, an accident on Paxton Avenue. An accident on Brethren Road at Red Bank Road. An accident on Springfield Pike, northbound at 275. And in Cincinnati, an accident on Madison Road. I'm sorry, Madison Road. All righty. Good traffic report. What what you what kind of grade do you give her there, Garrett? And <laughs> D minus. Thanks, Garrett. <laughs> A little off today. Thanks, man. Garrett. It's Monday. <laughs> no, uh, no excuse. Every do, is that our excuse? No, Eric, we never Monday? make an excuse. By the way, before we get to the animal fact, another thing that happened that would have been in, it would have been funnier in hell to have on film yesterday was uh I can't tell you the purpose of the meeting, except su- succession was involved. Uh, but we had a secret, and this is where we, people don't realize this. I shouldn't. Rival gangs uh, have already learned this. And when we come in to Brio's, they heighten their security. But Brio's, it's got to be an Italian restaurant. Brio's is the official sit-down restaurant for the Bulldog Mafia. And yesterday, we had a sit-down with the godfather emeritus, Larry Grouse, yours truly, the current godfather, the underboss, Chuck Holbrook, and my son, Parker, who attended his first sit-down of the brass. And um, it was a very important meeting, and it went very well. And that's all I got to tell you. But uh, it was important. Just wanted to. Parker going to take over the Brios. family business? Brios. They treat us like gold down there. We pull up. They keep our vehicles up front, you know, like they do. They walk us in. You know, they get us water before our meals. They ask us what we want to eat. <laughs> they they deliver the food to us. Actually, I'm- I mean, and they ask us if we want dessert. <laughs> yeah, every I mean, they, single restaurant they does treat that. us <laughs> like gold down there, man. I mean, like gold. <laughs> uh, can we have a kangaroo fact there, uh, young Jake? We can. Uh, so Hold on. When okay. a kangaroo Joey is born, they are 2.5 centimeters long. Hey, Joey. 
point zero three ounces and are small enough to fit in a teaspoon. When they're born? When they're born. A teaspoon? A teaspoon. Kangaroos? Jeez. Really oh. tiny. Yeah, yeah, pull up a picture things, of a man. baby kangaroo, yeah, Jay. I don't and believe they, you. I've seen develop. those pictures. Those kangaroos are little baby roos. They're small. They're bigger than that in their little mom's pocket. Yeah, they just pop out. Little man. baby roos. <laughs> hopping nope. around all over the place. <laughs> I, I do not believe you. I also read that they can jump 45 feet, not 30. They said at you. least 30 okay, feet. Whatever. Get your facts straight. Five feet. You gotta show us a picture. Of what? Of the a baby? baby. Okay. You said he was ready to become a captain, Garrett. There's no way. No way in hell. Ready to become I a was captain. wrong. My God. Jake is Jeez, not Pete. worthy. No offense, Jake. Hey, Doing great uh, work. As our as our Angie Dickinson will invite you maybe to a sit down soon. Oh, good. A Brios. Yep. <laughs> I'm in. Brios. No, she can't be in. The only other place, the only other place that we're allowed to go, is Scotty's on Vine Street. What is Scotty's? It's an Italian restaurant. I've never been. It's like there. a real Italian, Italian kind of restaurant. Olive Garden is too commercial for the Bulldog. Market. Oh yeah, Olive yeah. Garden's we, for hillbillies. We take our families <laughs> there, but we don't have a formal sit down. Just doesn't work. I'd like to go to the next oh, meeting. God. I couldn't make it yesterday because I just couldn't make it yesterday. But Oh, and watching Spartacus last night, we now have a new handshake. You know what the Gladiators did? At least they did it on Spartacus. They don't shake hands. They shake forearms. Oh, yeah. I've seen them do that. Don't you think that's cool? That is cool. That's the new bulldog handshake. We don't shake hands. No. We shake forearms, That's baby. stupid. It is not, man. <laughs> I won't do it. Gladiators do it. <laughs> do you not do anything but I'm, watch movies? No. It's all you do. I work and watch television. God, I only got an hour of sleep last you're night. Lazy. I got to do something. I watched some great. I watched Shameless. That was great. For, uh, Fiona's getting her kids back. Lazy. I watched House of Lies, Z. little Kristen Bell. Californication, which is just crude, but David Duchovny's funny. You um, don't watch The Walking Dead, right? No. My stepson was watching that yesterday, and I'm watching this saying, uh, okay. I took a nap. Uh, I watch you movies. I watch news. I watch sports. I told you I watch more television than anybody I know, but I also work more than anybody I know. I... Uh, I was asked, and I verified this, that um, the opposing counsel had asked me that I should not refer to Dr. Abubakar Durrani, the orthopedic surgeon who we continue to meet with people, met with all kinds of people all weekend. And um, he said, uh, you shouldn't be caught in the butcher. That's going too far. Well, I looked up the rules. And do you know that a lawyer is allowed to warn the public from somebody or something? You're allowed to. You should be allowed and, to. And, and I know. I mean, I'm saving lives from going to Abubakar Durrani. And he's mad that I called him the butcher of Pakistan, but I'm sorry he is a butcher. He's a butcher. He's butchered these. You talk to these people that I represent. Oh, my God. Just terrible. Just incredible. Oh, another funny story. But here's another funny story that happened over the weekend. Some freaking weird dude goes... Um, he wants me to meet him at his house. And I'm like, uh, why? Well, that's the way I like to, uh, you know, people that I do business with. And, and by the way, it, it was in a rich neighborhood, okay? And I told Chuck, I said, Chuck, man, I ain't going over there. This is freaking weird. Chuck, ever, always the adventurous one, says, let me go over. I said, well, okay, I like, like I didn't get his phone call and I sent you instead. Because I asked him, I said, can I send somebody? The guy answers the door in his boxers and a T-shirt. And Chuck said, creepy, creepy, creepy. Did he leave? Really? Yeah, yeah. He says, he says well, oh, I, wrong place. I got re- <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm not going to go to that freaking place anymore yeah. or ever. He... See, I got to be, be more and more cautious because of Bubakar, uh, Durrani, you know, I'm on his hit list now. Can you imagine all the people that want to kill me? Yeah, you got a long number. list. We're in long danger, list. <laughs> long list. No, we're not. All I got to tell you is under the bus. I got armed <laughs> bodyguards now, so take your best shot. It's kind of cool having armed bodyguards. 
really is. It's nice. They hang out in the hallway here yeah. during the show. Yeah. 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 Um, I think I'm allowed to announce this. I don't know if I. It's been a month now. I think they told me to wait a month. Watch play a song. I, it's eight minutes long. Okay. So let's, okay, we'll play this. Well, we're not gonna play the whole song. I'll, right. I'll make the announcement when we come back. Right. This is Fog Hat. Slow ride. Slow ride. As opposed to Take a fast ride on Class X Radio. This is the Bulldog on Class X Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury. We have traffic. In Hamilton County, there is an injury accident on Martin Luther King Drive at Reading Road. In Cincinnati, an accident on Paxton Avenue north of Wasson Road. An accident on Brother and Avenue at Red Bank Road. An accident on Springfield Pike, northbound at I-275. And in Cincinnati, an accident on Madison, Madison Road. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job there. Thank I don't you. care what the what heck Garrett says. What the heck <laughs> Garrett says. I mean, I mean, you did a good job. Thank you. Horrible reporting <laughs> on the traffic. You've got <laughs> several accidents in the area. Hmm. What, what, did what, on what did she miss? What did she miss? Well, <laughs> I have no idea what she missed. Huh? Uh, it was a good report. Thanks. By the way, they they cured AIDS, apparently. They don't know C-. how. Minus. But they cured AIDS in a child. They don't know how they did it. They don't know how it happened. Not big. It's big, big, That's big, big news. news. Big news. They don't Curing know AIDS now. Now they got to figure out how to do it. Yeah. I mean, you know. Ugh, that's a scary thing, baby. Got a cure scary, cancer. Cancer's scary, next. scary, scary. They cure him. We're on cure your cancer. ass, cancer. Uh, by the way, price increases for health insurance in the U.S. were reported the government a new regulation ordered by Obama administration. They say my monitoring of price changes will help to keep track of curb market disruption caused by Obamacare. Obamacare sucks. It has increased the paperwork on everybody. It has increased health insurance costs. It's going to continue to increase health insurance costs to everybody. I mean, it is a complete cluster mess. And you got some of these states like Kasich and the rest of them. Well, it's free money. No, it's not free money. It's federal taxpayers flipping the bill and you're jumping on board, Kasich. I'm not scared of you, Kasich. You may be the governor, but you're not above the law. That's what Batman says. It's right, Bulldog. Kasich is not above the law. I got your back. I wonder if Kasich could mess with me if I got Batman. I wouldn't mess with me if I got Batman. What about you, Shannon? No. Would you mess with somebody who had Batman in their corner? No, absolutely not. I wouldn't. I'd kick Batman's ass. Oh, oh Robin, you're Robin's full of not. Either, right? You Ooh, would too. not. Robin could kick your ass. He's meaningless. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's doing some gymnastic him. move on you and put his legs around your neck and tap you Take out. You down. Unless he fools me with some sort of trickery, and strikes <laughs> me in the neck, I'll be fine. Hold my own against those two morons. All these jobs getting lost because of Obamacare, jobs getting lost because of Dodd Frank, jobs being lost because of the way the government runs their business. Just, ugh. Mm. I get fired up. By the way, I saw a neat movie called Touchback. It was like a football life kind of movie. I recommend it. I saw it on uh, Netflix, Direct TV. No, not Netflix. Yeah, and all you, you and your movies. It's I you saw do. I saw a documentary last night about Jimmy the Greek on Netflix, and then I watched Finding Forrester again. One of the top ten movies of all time. I thought you were going to say Sean Connery. Nemo. I did too. <laughs> an unexpected gift at an unexpected time. That's what the old Sean Connery said. Yeah. Suck it. <laughs> now, now, listen, man. I'm a little worried about this because my dad has a horse farm down in Orlando or Ocala. Over 100 horses have been quarantined between Ocala, Oviedo, and several other locations around Seminole County in Florida after an equine herpes outbreak. First senior citizens. <laughs> yeah. Now we got the freaking horses. Now the horses. senior citizens can't keep it in their pants <laughs> and, their, and, their, and their skirts down. And now we've got the horses jumping fences. Going where they're not supposed to go. We got herpes rampant everywhere. <laughs> Dogs and cats sleeping together. Herpes is everywhere. Thank God we've cured AIDS in a child. Wrap it up, horses. <laughs> Jeez, old oh, Pete. My God. Well, they're killing those oh, things now is, for meatball. Oh, here's here's meat. a real here's a real uh, earth shattering comment. 
the disease is spread through horse to horse contact. No. <laughs> Jeez, old Pete. How about that guy? That thirty-seven year old Jeff Bush was swallowed by a sinkhole mm. under his Florida home on Friday. That was after our show. Can you imagine being in your house and all of a sudden whoosh, the family ought to find a lawyer and sue somebody? Yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, they didn't even find the guy. No, that's spooky. Michigan meat producer recalled 6,600 pounds of ham. That's a lot of ham. Mm. Why? Probably had herpes. Oh. <laughs> herpes outbreak among Frick pigs. Herpes is pigs. everywhere, man. <laughs> the pigs are sick animals. Iran announced yesterday that it has built 3,000 advanced crap uranium enriched c- centrifuges, but they got a herpes outbreak. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, has she got herpes? Queen Elizabeth has <laughs> herpes. She's been hospitalized with the stomach illness. Are we sure she does? Philip didn't give her herpes. Philip's herpes. been known to fool around. <laughs> he might have herpes. Um, Catch it from some Israelis, Palestinian-only <laughs> buses. The launch of a new Palestinian-only bus service filing objections by Jewish settlers who believed Arab riders were a threat to security because they got herpes. All the herpes. Have, have, have I beaten the herpes thing? No, is, right. herpes, Everybody is, is the herpes, herpes thing over now? Keep using it on every Jamie single herpes. story. Kind of like read. I did Rick James, bitch. Uh, you can't kill the Rick James, bitch. Rick James, bitch. So you think, have I sent herpes too, too many times? Yeah, you're good. A private analyst saying the sequester will cost the U.S. economy 700,000 jobs this year alone. And what's going to happen? They're going to be down and out. They're going to go have illicit sex, no <laughs> contraceptives, and get her. <laughs> I was wondering how you're going to swing that in. The- Virgi- I'm a lawyer. <laughs> it's easy. Uh, economists feel the state of Virginia will likely fall into recession as 90,000 civilian Defense Department employees who live there will see their salary cut by 20% this year. They're going to go to the bars, get drunk, get herpes. <laughs> Romney to Obama, stop campaigning. He said the president's had the opportunity to lead the nation, to bring Republicans and Democrats together. It's a job he's got to do, and it's a job only the president can do. If I made any comment about Barack Obama having herpes, will Secret Service come get me? Yes. yes. All right, then I'm going to say it. Blow about down this <laughs> door. Oh, keep now. We got Sharon, I ain't got anything to deliver up today. It's all in the truck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to court, and then I'll be back after court. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's her name? She's a sweet lady. Sharon. That's Sharon Morris. Sharon? She's one of my staff. Is she but out of the building yet? She, she, did out of not, the room? she did not get arrested over the weekend. She's a horrible lady. Shouldn't she miss work <laughs> all the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They all oh, yeah. They oh, come God. up with all kinds of freaking excuses. Yeah. All right. You ready for some radio superbity? I still didn't make the announcement I wanted to make. This is deep purple as opposed to shallow brown. Smoke, name a man, Shallow Brown. Smoke on the water on Class X Radio. Smoke on Class X Radio, ladies and gentlemen of the American jury. Congratulations to the Holmes Bulldogs for winning the ninth region championship. Way to go, dogs! Of course, they're called the Bulldogs. Shannon, uh, do you have a traffic report for the ladies and gentlemen of the American jury who are transporting themselves through the automobile into town. In Hamilton County, there is an injury accident at Martin Luther King Drive at Reading Road. In Cincinnati, an accident on Paxton, north of Wasson Road. An accident on Brethren Road at Red Bank. An accident on Springfield Pike, northbound at 275. And in Cincinnati, an accident on Madison Road. All right. Thank you very much. It's pretty good, Shannon. Thank you. Jake, are you over there slacking again? Yep, slacking. <laughs> Man. No more it's- animal facts. Time hey, to fire, Jake. <laughs> does anybody? Does anybody? Does anybody miss uh, backup uh, traffic girl? Who's that? Karen. Uh, Karen. Oh, Karen Lusk. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't miss her one bit. <laughs> Raging so hillbilly. So cold. I didn't know if there were hillbillies in Ohio. Oh yeah, you can get them, but it's usually outside the 275 loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 275 loop. Yeah. So Anywhere Brown, east of that. Brown County, Adams County, Claremont County. Brown, Adams, Claremont's big bunch of hillbillies out there. <laughs> Highland County. Coming into Eastgate is like the city for them. Like They're, they're hitting the city <laughs> when they go to Eastgate. 
I don't know what they think of downtown. <laughs> like some sort of sprawling metropolis. Oh, sprawling oh, metropolis. Yeah, they get lost. They don't know where the hell they're going. It's like buildings are taller than two stories. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, buildings don't move? <laughs> buildings don't move. <laughs> Man, do you believe this this uh, mayor? He's going to be there at the casino opening. I mean, he goes to more freaking ribbon cutting things. You're not man. kidding. I hope he I loses thought, his ass. Hell no, I ain't going. I, I sued him. Craps table. Oh yeah, you're suing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go put some money back in in their pocket. I, 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 this, this is this. We is, got the VIP event to tonight. This, this yeah. is true. I am not even um, curious to go. You like gambling, go. right? Hey, we got to thank Cincinnati Sushi. You know, Garrett, we have really yes. arrived. Uh, because, you know, over at the big one, people would suck up the talk show host by bringing them food. Yep. Well, Jack Stecklin and Sushi Cincinnati brought you guys spicy crab dip and crackers and sushi. Sushi and rolls. Not, and he was They're nice. Ready for he the brought weekend. me a turkey sandwich because he knows I don't eat sushi. That was pretty nice of him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jack Stecklin, good man. Shannon and I are going to be there for our first date on Saturday night. Pretty good timing. A couple weeks after, I'd like to start going out. <laughs> So obviously it was her birthday. I'm not maximizing the potential of anti gift giving. But don't worry, I'll break it off right before the holidays. Don't get her a damn thing. How does how does it feel when you're talking about the uh, the girl of your dream talking about the girl of your dreams girl of like your that? Dreams. The girl g- girl of his dreams like yeah. that, Shannon. I guess we're gonna have a good what eight month relationship. Jeez, yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> hey, we've got we've got uh, a resident of Claremont County upset. Hey, that wasn't me that was dogging your neighborhood. That was Garrett. Yeah, you're damn yeah. right it was. <laughs> <laughs> Email me if you got a hey, problem with it. I'll now, debate you now, on that Cla- all night long. Now Claremont County has some very nice subdivisions. Ugh. And then we have uh, what else do we have? We have um, uh, Brown County and Adams County. They got snappy tomato pizza places up there. <laughs> I gotta get a snappy tomato pie. I think I like it. Really? It's I think. Great. I don't know. Is it? I love snappy. Wow. I had to drive down to the depths of your snappy neighborhood yesterday. Good. Really? I don't believe it. What'd you have to go down yeah, here for? Camp Ernst. I got the hell out That's of Dodge. Where I live. Oh, I'm really? On Camp Ernst. Really? You yeah. live on Camp Ernst? Yeah. It was right across wow. the street. Wow. Why my were you sister in Camp up Ernst? from my sister, like as a counselor there. Nice. I didn't realize you lived in Kentucky. I thought you lived in Ohio. I live in Kentucky now. Oh, okay. God, you're down there. I'm coming back to Anderson, though. Oh, well, there you go. That's a nice part of town. Yeah, I like Anderson. If we let you in. I don't know. You've got to file. If yeah, you are, but if you've got let in. I know the you. people. You know, I'm a little embarrassed to say that DP, DBDP, douchebag Daryl Parks, lives in Anderson. He does? I'm a little ashamed of that, yeah. <laughs> But he's rich, and what are you going to do? I mean, it's where the rich people go. Is he rich? <laughs> Andrew. Yeah, he's got money. What's his house look like? It's pretty big. He lives in my buddy's neighborhood. Does he? Yeah, he got some big house. He doesn't even need kids. Why is he living in a big house? Was uh, a show off? the hell out of me, yeah. We should wow. get him out of there. He, does, he belongs in, like, a Mason area. Well, I got to ask this. You know, there's rumors that they're going to be uh, moving some people around there, you know? Canning them? No, I don't know about Canada moving them around. You know, they have a new program director. Not Rhino? No, not Rhino. And the guy doesn't do anything. Apparently just doesn't do anything. Talk to anybody. No memos, no nothing. Jeez. Kind of just sizing the joint up, I guess. Good for them. What happened to Rhino? Uh, He's still there, too, but I I think they got him back over the FM side or something. They all listen to us, you know. (laughs) It was weird, man. When I quit, Rhino called me into his office, and he starts talking to me about, like, all the old hosts there, and, like, he was like, so what are you going to do? And I'm like, yeah, I don't really know. And he goes, uh, and then he starts talking to me about drugs and stuff and how how a bunch of them used to do a bunch of drugs. And it was just what weird. It was an awkward conversation. <laughs> I mean, it was cool it. because, like, I, I don't know, I like Ryan, but. He's giving you the dirt? It was weird, yeah. Kind of dirt. I don't know if he's, like, warning me he, or what. He just spilled the beans on everyone. You got that next song? I didn't name any names. Oh, no, I don't. Me, uh, uh, you got the next song. Ah. Ah. You're a funny man. Man, I'm reading this memo that Cheryl Winkler prepared about the concession stands. It's incredible. 
Wow, 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 wow. Things that make you go, hmm, once people found out we resigned from volunteering our time running concessions, people are coming out of woodwork with similar stories. I was told the volleyball money had come up missing. Mm-hmm. Was told that Trent Steiner had numerous bullying complaints in his file. Told that there is an open investigation on Trent Steiner for gambling. What? Told that Martha Setters is upset with the current investigation. Told the basketball camps and football camp participation fees paid by the parents is given strictly to and used by the coaches to fund an annual Vegas trip. Jeez, old oh, Pete. <laughs> if concession money was not used appropriately, how does the large amount of gate money that is collected at each event accounted for? I was told that the gate money is still under Jeff Marksbury's control. These guys are swindling school funds to go to I mean, Vegas. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> just like the hangover. I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> you know, just like the hangover. <laughs> so they got the idea. Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury, this is Cheap Trick. The live version, I hope, of Surrender on Class X Radio. That sucks. The uh, psychedelic detached garage guy changed his promo, Jake. Remember the home and the, you know, the home. Oh, yeah. Pink Floyd. He's yeah. a Pink Floyd guy. Raging hippie, Shannon. What's going on in traffic? He loves help. In Cincinnati, there is an accident on 74 eastbound at North Bend Road. In Hamilton County, an injury accident on Beekman Street at Westwood Road. An injury accident on US 22 at Woodburn Avenue. An accident blocking Uh-oh. the right shoulder on 75 Uh-oh. southbound oh, at the Lachlan Split. In Cincinnati, an accident on Ridge Road. In Cincinnati, also an accident on Redding Road at US 42. In Hamilton, an accident on Vine Street at Liberty Street. In Cincinnati, an accident on Madison Road at Bedford Avenue. An accident blocking the right lane on 71 northbound at Ridge Road. An accident on... Jeez! Uh, so up. And finally, an accident on Dick Smith at Clifton. <laughs> Where disgusting. was that? <laughs> Where, what road was that? <laughs> it's, I'm not repeating well, it. We, no, the sig- <laughs> signal cut out. We need. To you have it. to. Yeah, we had a little glitch. You have to it's say Dick Smith. Dick Smith. <laughs> it's disgusting. God, <laughs> Shannon, quit Grow cussing up on a me. little Garrett. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm growing up. Shannon, you ever had your uh, luggage checked for sex toys? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Well, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Headlines. Next time you fly, Next time I fly. keep this in mind. <laughs> Dr. Kurtzman here. Ah, yeah, the sex toys. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> we got a new laser. <laughs> Airport security screeners apparently get a kink out of ri- rifling, <laughs> rifling through your sexy baggage. My checked bag is searched almost every time I fly. I guess I'm just lucky or look suspicious, said sex blogger Rory Sweet. Of the D.C. area. Really sweet. Uh, sex toy fans usually know when their bags are searched because Federal Transportation Security Administration baggage screeners leave official printed notices behind. Uh, sex toy peddler Vicky Kreiner said one cheeky TSA screener even, even signed his search notice. His name was Jim, and he dotted the eye with a heart. <laughs> the note said to have a nice day and had a smiley face scrawled next to it. It seemed unprofessional and a little creepy. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, here you go, Shan. Sex lubes such as <laughs> KY Jelly also are fine in carry-ons if their containers are smaller than 3.4 ounces. But handcuffs, floggers, police batons, whips, <laughs> chains, whistles, yo-yos, and other things that could be weapons are best flown in checked bags. Okay, so just not in the carry-on. Make sure, make sure you buy the need to travel, just need travel size. Yeah, check in your handcuffs. You put okay. that in your check bag. All right. How about you, Jake? You ever had the little I, notes slipped in I your bag? I actually have had the notes slipped really? in. When I was coming back from England, I found one in my bag. I've never know. I mean, I wonder how many they do. I've never had it. Me either. I, I've not flown. What does it say? The it says, yeah, bag? yeah, we've, we've randomly searched your bag. Uh. I mean, you know, it was really weird because I had these magazines... English magazines that Playboys. They're kind of like Playboys. <laughs> but I was actually bringing them back for for someone, and then uh, <laughs> sure. No, I'm serious. Yeah, I appreciate then, that, by the way. There's, Jake. A lot of po- there's a lot of pockets on my suitcase, and the only one that was searched was the one with the nudie mags in it. Huh? They see it in the X-ray thing. They took my flogger they- too. 
They did. They did get I was the trying flogger. to bring back a flogger. Took the flogger. Damn. I'm floggerless. I hate when I lose my flogger. There must be a lot of stuff in that security closet at the airport. Yeah, imagine oh, a yeah. sex toy collection. Yeah, right. Right. Oh. Those creepy bastards. Open up shop. Anyway, all right, that's it for us. Back tomorrow at 6 a.m. Shannon, let's show up at 6 <laughs> one of these days. We get here a little early, put in some effort, a little extra effort. All right. 16 crash. Anyway, every dog has its day. Don't give a damn about yours. I <laughs> uh, only care about myself. And uh, thanks to Jim O'Schlika. No, I'm kidding. Thanks to uh, Sushi Cincinnati. Yeah.